And hello guys, and in this video, we will learn how to assign resources to an already made activities schedule or the Gantt chart for a uh, software development project. And in this project, I have already defined these activities which start with the project initiation, then the requirement gathering, the design phase, development phase, then the integration and testing, documentation and training, then the deployment, post deployment, and project review and closure so for this i need some resources and those resources i have just gone them here these resources and for this i have this this three main teams it's all the management team the requirement team and the core team for the management team i've just uh, provided project manager business analyst uh, subject matter expert and ui ux designer and then a system architect and then the core team that would be the developer and the integration team and then the trainers uh, they will be the software developers the quality assurance testers integration specialists technical writers training specialist devops engineer devops engineer and support team members so uh, when you look at my resources usage you will see that uh, the project manager is responsible for all these tasks and this work here shows the number of hours he will work the business analyst is similarly responsible for all these and as you can go ahead and you will see that all of them are defined with some tasks and their respective hours so going back to the resources these are the standard rates i haven't put the overtime rate yet for some i have put from uh, but for others i have just skimmed it for now i will maybe update it later uh, but I hope I won't get into the overtime section or else I will have to put the rates here too. Uh, for now, I think the standard rates will work uh, for this type of work. It, it's all a work. It can be a work or a material, but I put work here. Um, the, and uh, if you go ahead, there is another option. Uh, it should be either prorated or the start or the end of activity. And I will just cite, write prorated, which means that uh, it should be paid as much as to work it performs so uh, how do you assign resources you can come back to the Gantt chart and we can see how I have assigned the resources here these are the resource columns and you can come in here and also uh, click this task and then the assign resources section and you click this uh, you will find that this is all the uh, resources you have assigned for this software development project if you click one activity uh, you will see that I have assigned project manager, uh, business analyst, and subject matter specialist. All you have to do now is just click assign and it will just come in here like this. And similarly, if you come to the other command, other sections, you will keep on seeing that I have other software uh, developers and similarly other resources assigned to a specific task. Uh, these tasks against all these uh, number of days which actually accrue to the number of hours in a day uh, these are uh, this can also be used to define the project uh, cost uh, the cost of the project and also the uh, number of hours each uh, resource will use for example if you can come here uh, and go to the resource usage these are all the hours that uh, every uh, resource is putting and also a and a kind of a timesheet that we plan for each activity for each resource on a specific date or a specific month so for example for this quality assurance uh, testing on this 24 uh, 21st of jan 2024 uh i think we have nothing here and but on the wednesday uh which you can count as the date uh so if it's 21, 22, 23, 24, for all these dates, this resource that is the quality assurance or tester is working for eight hours. And you can also reduce it. Uh, but for this, uh, for this portion, if you reduce it here, it will also have an effect on the duration of the uh, project. Now, uh, you can look at the cost against each resource. And we can try and get that here. We'll try to insert the column and see if the column can't help us 
get to the cost associated with each resource. So uh, if you try and add this and see what happens, if I click OK, and this is the cost against each resource and also the cost against each activity. Uh, so with all that, uh, if you want to just end up knowing the final cost of uh, this project, all you have to do is now come to, <coughs> excuse me, come to the file section and here click projects. <coughs> and the project section, uh, you will have the cost of the project here, noted as 263711, which would be in US dollars for a project that has a duration of this many hours. And if you want to convert this to days, can come back to the task and again chart and see that the project has 189.5 days. So this is how you assign resources and how do you actually change a resource uh, or you can make the availability of a resource count using this resource usage chart or table. Uh, Another thing, you can also check the task usage here. If you click here for a specific task, if this is the activity, then these are the resources that have been employed. And these are the number of hours that each resource, which you can also change here. You can make this four into three or three into two. All of, all this, all of these are possible. And just have to work extremely hard to know that these can, uh, and think about each activity and how we expect that activity to turn out on a specific week. So I think that's it guys. That is how you can actually define all the activities for a software development. You can easily change them on uh, based on your own based on your own experience and assign the resources also obviously based on your own experiences. And if you want to reduce the cost, obviously you can come in here and find a team that has a lower rate than this standard. Right. Well, that's entirely up to the procuring authority of the company. So with this, I think uh, this is enough for today. And we'll see you next time with some other tutorials. So thank you.